Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance. And in this video, I want to do a quick video on performance. I wanted to do a comparison of the default uh, asset size on a completely blank page in Breakdance and then in Elementor. So we're going to take a look at GT metrics. We're going to be taking a look at Google PageSpeed Insights. Um, I've run these reports. Let's make it quick and take a look. And before you watch this video and be like, oh my God, I can't get a fast website with Elementor. Not true. I have a tutorial on how to get a fast website with any builder. It's on the Oxygen channel. I will link it in the uh, YouTube description. Great tutorial. 530,000 views now. Posted three years ago. Still uh, super applicable today. So I highly recommend you watch it if you want your website to be faster. You can get a fast website. It's just going to be easier with Breakdance. Okay, let's take a look at the Elementor report. Before I do, I just want to show I am being honest. I enabled all of the Elementor performance improvements. I did the same in Breakdance. I'm not not disabling the performance improvements. This is with all the performance improvements on. Okay, here's the page in Elementor. Hello theme, blank page, only a heading. Here's the performance report on GT Metrics. That's the Elementor page right there. And this is the waterfall. This shows that everything that is, it shows everything that the page is loading. I disabled Google Fonts, so we're only getting the stuff uh, not you know from Elementor, not from Google. Um, here it is. 689 kilobytes uncompressed, 173 kilobytes compressed. Uh, they're just loading a lot of, you know, CSS. They're loading jQuery, jQuery migrate, uh, some Webpack runtime JavaScript, waypoints JavaScript. I don't really know why they're loading all this stuff. They've written a lot of blog posts about how they aren't doing this anymore, but this is the latest version from WordPress.org, and it's better than it was before, but it's still uh, 689 kilobytes of stuff. Let's take a look at the page speed report. I ran three of these because sometimes you get different scores. So uh, let's just look at mobile. They got 82 on mobile, uh, then 94 on mobile, um, and then 88 on mobile. These are these are decent scores. Um, okay, let's take a look at Breakdance. This Breakdance page, same as Elementor, just a heading. Uh, and with Breakdance, you don't need a theme, so we're not using any theme. We use the Hello theme with Elementor since Elementor says that's a minimalist theme. Okay, let's take a look at the report. I ran three for Breakdance as well. We got uh, 99 every time, and then... Uh, let's take a look at the GT metrics chart for Breakdance. We're looking at the waterfall and 37 kilobyte uncompressed, 16 kilobytes compressed. Let's go back over to that Elementor report. 689 kilobytes uncompressed, 173 kilobytes compressed. Um, let's put them next to each other. 689, 37. Do I need to open a calculator? I do. What's what's uh, what's 37 divided by 689? Okay, we are we are five percent the size of Elementor, so we are one twentieth. Elementor is twenty times bigger. Um, let's check those numbers. Uh, compressed, they're one seventy three kilobyte compressed. We're sixteen kilobyte compressed. So after compression, uh, what was it? One, what was it again? It was one seventy three divided by sixteen point three, right? Yeah, one seventy three divided by six point three. Let's run that. Um, and they are ten times uh, as big as us compressed. So. 20 times uncompressed, 10 times uncompressed. I think we're doing pretty good in the uh, performance department. Okay, that's all I want to do for this comparison. Um, I'll do another one in the future about cleanliness of code output, HTML, Divception, all that. But I just want to show what is actually being loaded on a blank page because a lot of people have commented on our Facebook ads saying, hey, does Breakdance give good performance scores? The answer is yes, it absolutely does. We don't load things unless you need it on the page. If you use an element on the page that needs a script, we'll load that script. Otherwise, we're not going to load it. All right, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and thank you very much for watching.